Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Rio from Ascending. In this video, Evelyn and I are going to show you how to efficiently manage your email templates in a backend application. In the past, we embedded an Apache free marker, a template engine in our Spring application or Python Django. However, every change of our template code will be result in a new deployment of a whole application. This could be time consuming and cost ineffective. Today, Evelyn, will introduce how to take advantage of third-party SendGrid dynamic email template to manage and customize email in your application. Hello, everyone. This is Evelyn. I work as a web developer in Ascending. First of all, let's talk about pro and cons of using template engine like Apache FreeMarker in our applications. FreeMarker helps in separating web page de designers from developers. So designers won't face complicated logic in templates and can change the appearance of a page without programmers having to change or recompile code. The sample free marker HTML template source codes will look like this. As you can see, name, signature, location are variables that would be substituted with the application runtime object. As we mentioned at the beginning, the template engine is managed along with backend applications. And for every update of emails, the production needs to be deployed simultaneously. Unlike Apache FreeMarker, SendGrid is a cloud-based email delivery platform. It can integrate with RESTful APIs, and support various programming languages to help manage your email content and pull programmatically without running deployments. This will reinforce the single responsibility in the team so you can have a designated person to manage the email template and other developers work on the logic of sending the emails. Eventually, they can coordinate together to integrate as a whole application. Here, with dynamic email templates, we can import our own HTML email library and customize content with HTML editor. When clicking on Create a Dynamic Template button, first, input the name for this template. and add a version. Select the code editor. And there's always a simple default HTML version when you open up a new template. Now, um, I would like to import our own Ascending HTML template for this demo. As you can see, first name and username are two variables that will be substituted at runtime. You may also notice that the syntax of the variables in SendGrade and FreeMarker are slightly different. SendGrade is using two pairs of braces while Free marker is using a dollar sign plus a pair of braces. For more details, such as conditional blockers and iterations, 
you can refer to Centigrade Handlebars documentation. Now we can test our new email template by directly entering the JSON format test data here. Then slide out the setting button and set the test email to be your own email. Here's the test email we've received. Last but not the least, we are able to integrate Centigrade to our Spring application through Centigrade Java client. Make sure add it to your dependency management tool like Gradle or Maven. Java source code will be something like this. As you can see in the snippet of the code, we only invoke Centigrade client API to pass variables as we showed before programmatically. We have written a more descriptive tutorials in the blog. Please find the link in the description. Thank you, Evelyn. If you would like to know more tricks and tips of developing cloud-based web application, you can refer to other ascending mini lectures. We also provide all the resources in our description field. Thank you. See you next time. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.